What's up everybody, I'm Zach, I'm just a simple chef, and today we're gonna learn how to cook fish. So, I have a nice ahi tuna filet here. I got a salmon filet, skin on. And I got a nice turbo filet. So I'm gonna cook these three different ways, and I'm gonna plate them up differently. And I'm gonna show you how to make your fish perfect and moist and how it should be. All right, so we're going to get our stuff organized off of our cutting board. And we're gonna get started. Organization is key. All right, so you know how we do this. We're going to mise out all of our ingredients so that we don't have to be disorganized and panicked and like, oh my god, my fish is going to burn and I don't have anything ready. Make sure you mise out your ingredients so it's just grab and go, don't have to worry about anything. Let's get started. Alright, so we're going to clean up the half pineapple that I purchased because I didn't need a whole pineapple. So we want to make sure it gets all clean and we're just going to finely mince up the pineapple and we're going to do this for all the ingredients for our pineapple salsa we're going to put on our salmon. So just breaking down the pineapple, making small little matchstick slices, try not to cut yourself. And then we're going to go ahead and cut them the other direction into small little tiny cubes. Tasty little morsels. I love pineapple so much. So now we're going to mince up our red onions. Right, I've mentioned this before in other videos, everything should be uniform. Now we're doing our Roma tomatoes and taking out the center. Simple, easy cuts. We're doing almost the same cuts for everything. Just like the jalapeno, we're going to devein it. I'm gonna cut around the outside. I'm gonna slice it into matchsticks and then turn it around and slice it into little diced jalapenos. I think that's easy enough. It's easy and simple to follow along with. Here we're cutting up a radicchio into a fluffy little salad with some, uh, we're gonna do some frise and some fennel here just cutting up the fennel fennel tastes kind of like licorice to me a little bit but a little bit more flavorful than that so here we're rolling out the lemon so we're gonna squeeze it but first we're gonna take some lemon peels for our pur blanc for our turbo filet here we're just gonna mince up some parsley. Get that in our container. Here I'm prepping the ahi. A little bit of sesame seed oil and we're going to coat this in furtukaki and we're gonna let it sit so everything sits and sticks to the fish. And smash it in there. Now we're going to dry out the skin of the salmon because we want it to be kind of crispy. So we run our knife along it and then dry it dry it with a paper towel. All right, so pineapple, tomato, red onion, jalapeno, salt, a little bit of parsley, a little bit of lime juice, crack of black pepper, and that is our pineapple salsa. It's super simple, taste it. Now we're working on our sriracha aioli for our furtukaki. So sesame seed oil, salt, sriracha, mix the bad boy up. Get that to si aside. Now we're going to crush up some garlic and cut up some shallots and some parsley and get that into a pot. 
We're gonna add in some thyme, some bay leaves, some peppercorns, a little bit of salt, and we're gonna toast that. Now we're gonna deglaze it with some white wine and we're gonna reduce it all sec or dry. And while that's working, we're making a frisé radicchio, fennel, parsley, salt, lemon juice, black pepper salad. A Little bit of olive oil, we're gonna mix that together and we're gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna come back to our per blanc and it has reduced. We're going to add heavy cream. Heavy cream is only needed to stabilize, but a regular per blanc is just butter. Here, we're going to crisp up the nice salmon skin. Why will we reducing the heavy cream? We're gonna add in some garlic, some butter, and we're gonna baste this beautiful salmon. Make sure that we get it coated and crispy and coated in that fat. Now we're going to flip it over and we're gonna baste the skin side. And now the bottom top will get nice and golden. So there we go, we're gonna let that rest. Now our cream has been reduced and it's thickened and now we're gonna add the butter. And this is unsalted butter so we can control the flavors. We don't wanna use salted butter, don't do that. Not good, no. So here you're just gonna emulsify cold butter into the hot heavy cream and wine mixture. And once everything is combined, we're gonna strain it in a sieve and we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna come back and we're gonna work on cooking our turbo. So it's gonna be similar to the salmon, a little bit of salt. We're gonna get it on the hot pot. We're gonna add a little cracked pepper. We're gonna flip it. We're gonna add some garlic, some oil, and some butter, and then we're going to baste it. And then we're going to baste it and flip it again onto the top side. And then baste it again, just like that. And you wanna do this fairly quickly, about a minute each side, and then take it off. Here we want a lot of oil in the pan because we're doing the furtakaki pan seared ahi. We want a nice crust on the outside and it really hot but still pink on the inside. So just going to add a little touch here, a little special thing. I don't know if you've seen it before but baste it with a little bit of butter just like all the other fish. It's going to add a nice flavor to the furtakaki. I promise you. And there you have it. All right, so we mise everything out, we cooked the fish, we made all the sauces, and now we're gonna plate. And if you've watched this far, thank you so much. And if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. And if you want, go ahead and subscribe. I post every Friday, new video each week. Thank you for staying tuned. All right, so we're gonna put the frisé radicchio salad, the salmon filet, our pineapple salsa, and that's it. That's the salmon dish for you. Plate it up. Here, we got frise and we got that spicy sriracha aioli on the plate and we're just layering the ahi, beautifully cooked. Here we're just gonna do a little radicchio, a little frise, little similar things going on there. And then we're just gonna cover the fish in our butter per blanc. And we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of parsley on top just, to, just for that little extra. And there you have it. What's up everybody? So there we have it. Three different ways to cook fish. We did a salmon, ahi tuna, and we did a turbo. So for the salmon, we did a pineapple salsa. For the ahi, we did a furukake pan seared. And then for the turbo, we basted it in butter and made a citrus per blanc to go over top. So let's go ahead, let's try the salmon. Oh my goodness. Oh man, it just melts in your mouth, melts in your mouth, oh my, mm. get some of that radicchio in there, mm. Let's try the turbo. Mm. 
basting that white flaky turbo in butter, it gets like these nice little crusty texturized pieces on it. And it's so good with that citrus per blanc. Oh, and turbo is not a fishy type of fish. It's very, very good. Mm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and eat this whole thing. Mmm. <laughs> Got that spicy mayo, that pan seared furtakaki. Mm. You get that spicy mayo, sriracha, and then you get the tuna, and then you get the salty furtakaki seaweed seasoning. Collapse, enjoy. I can't get enough. Mm. So I hope you guys try all this at home. Don't be afraid to make mistakes because I can tell you right now I've made a lot of mistakes. Some mistakes that probably all y'all would never do. So, don't be afraid. Do your research, follow recipes, and just experiment. Have fun. Mm.